The Honorable Board of Examiners, the Honorable My Thesis Supervisor, Mr. Gumilang Ariosa Dewo, thank you for the opportunity to present my undergraduate thesis titled Special Autonomy Impact on Female Employment in Indonesia, case study from Papua, Aceh, and DKI Jakarta. My name is Olivia Marina Sharfi, and this is my bachelor's thesis presentation. This presentation would cover five chapters, and the first chapter is the introduction. So Indonesia has four special autonomy regions. Special autonomy status, or SAS, is expected to have a positive contribution to economic performance. Its core effect is asymmetric fiscal decentralization. Although most studies support fiscal decentralization, there are contradicting results found in Indonesia. Indonesia's female labor force participation over the years has been significantly below the male counterpart. As a G20 member, Indonesia aims to decrease the gender gap by 25% by 2025. So a question then may arise. Does SAS have a positive contribution to increase female employment similar to what have been found in Italy and Pakistan studies? So this research has been mainly motivated by two existing problems despite significant positive changes in Indonesia's economic performance. First, Papua is still underdeveloped even after gaining its SAS. Second, Indonesia's female labor force participation has been stagnant over the years. The research questions are the following. First, does Papua, Aceh, and DKI Jakarta's special autonomy status have a statistically significant impact on general and female employment probability? Second, which special autonomy status is the most effective and inclusive on increasing general employment probability and employment probability categorized on personal and female characteristics? The research contributions uh, include to examine the impact of Indonesia's SAS on increasing employment inclusively, to provide a reference for a heterogeneous impacts of decentralization by demographic groups, and lastly, to contribute to future policies planning in improving labor market outcomes and gender equality. For the research scope, this paper analyzes the impact of SAS from three regions only by using a natural experiment. It uses a probit difference in differences model with micro-level data of both cross-sections. The secondary data includes individuals who are uh, 15 until 64 years old in the working age. And the outcome variable is a binary variable of employment status. Moving on to the second chapter, literature review. Special autonomy status, or SAS, is an admission by Indonesia that accommodates the territory's need for modified or additional protections from the normal administration with asymmetric fiscal decentralization. Asymmetric fiscal decentralization involve unique shift and responsibilities to lower levels of government. The underlying theory of why decentralization is expected to have a positive contribution is theorem of decentralization by Oates. The dead weight losses from centralization are perceived as the welfare gains from decentralization implementation. It stresses the importance to fulfill local demands effectively when the local governments are closer to the locals. It is closely linked to gender parity because the government recognizes and identifies the local needs of gender issues more so that the government can address the gender issues in the area much better. There are several studies that have encouraged fiscal decentralization. The first reason is because big centralized government is inefficient for a nation's economic performance. It is prone to tax uh, revenues exploitation for crops. Second, fiscal decentralization reduces budget deficits. Third, fiscal decentralization improves uh, public services delivery, infrastructure, and labor market outcomes. It enhances efficiency and accuracy due to information advantage and fewer geographical constraints. In Pakistan and Italy, fiscal decentralization has a positive impact on employment and gender parity. In Spain, it increases public employment in regional government. In Colombia, it has a positive impact on public services. In Indonesia, there have been mixed findings. 
Several studies have found that fiscal decentralization in Indonesia increases and decreases economic growth or even no significant impact detected. Uh, it improves human development but has a negative uh, uh, impact on education and health outcomes in Papua. Besides, uh, there is still no finding and certainty whether SAS has a positive contribution towards general or female employment in Indonesia. This paper would like to address the literature gap. Moving on to chapter 3, methodology. This paper uses a model of probit difference in differences or DID where the outcome variable is employment status. It is equal to 1 if the individual is employed or equal to 0 if the individual is unemployed or inactive. The DEC deck represents three variables from the ID, which are post as the time dummy, descent as the treatment group variable, and post deck as the impact variable, which is the interaction term between post and descent. The null hypothesis is the impact of SAS is not statistically significant on employment generally and based on personal and female characteristics, whereas the alternative hypothesis is uh, the impact of SAS has a statistically significant impact. Hence, this methodology's main interest is to confirm whether the coefficient of post deck earlier is statistically significant. The data used is pooled cross-sectional micro-level data from IPUMS using three years of census data. The census data includes individuals in the working age with information on age, gender, marital status, having children, household relationship, school attendance, educational attainment, literacy status, and the areas inflation and investment. Not only from IPUMS, this data uh, is also combined with data from Statistics Indonesia for inflation and the National Single Window for Investment for the log of investment. Based on this timeline, we could only use the data of Papua, DKI Jakarta, and Aceh. We exclude DIY in the analysis because its SAS was implemented far before 1980 and there is no data before it. Because this paper uses DID, we need to fulfill the parallel trend assumption because the pre-treat and pre-control have similar trends, whereas in the post-periods, the trends change and with different magnitudes, it could be argued that the impact of SAS is positive on employment. Moving on to chapter 4, results and discussions. In the data, 60% of the individuals are employed, 49% of the individuals are females, most of the individuals are literate. The average age is 33 years old, the average number if someone has children is only one child. And the average educational attainment in the sample is completing primary school level. On average, SAS has a positive impact on employment probability with about an increase of 2.16 percentage points or PP. SAS of Aceh and DKI Jakarta have a positive impact as well on increasing general employment probability by 3.41 PP and 2.29 PP respectively. However, Papua does not have a statistically significant impact. Also, we can derive that SAS of Aceh has the highest and most accurate estimated impact to increase employment probability. So why does only SAS of Papua that have an insignificant impact on employment probability? Based on the theoretical analysis, there are three main reasons. First, because Papua's SAS is not implemented effectively. Second, because Indonesia's fiscal decentralization mechanism lacks its capabilities. Third, because of Papua's big employment probability in the first place, and because of its big proportion size of informal sector. And then why does uh, SAS of Aceh have a slightly higher impact than DKI Jakarta? Based on the theoretical analysis, there are two main reasons. First, because DKI Jakarta is significantly more urbanized than Aceh, that makes it harder to increase employment rate. Second, because Indonesia's urban unemployment rate has been uh, much higher, than the rural counterpart for years. So the challenge for a policy to increase urban employment intensifies even more. These two arguments are supported by the fact shown in the chart. TKI Jakarta always has a higher unemployment rate over the years than Papua, Aceh, and Indonesia's average.
from the impact analysis on employment by gender, it is found that all three regions SAS have a positive impact at least at 5% significance level on women's employment probability, but not for men. Hence, SAS is a good policy to fight back against the negative effect uh, of being female on employment in Indonesia. This is in accordance with the literature review. From the impact analysis on female employment by Marido and owning children's status, it is found that on the Papua and DKI Jakarta SAS that increase the employment probability for married females and females with children. Hence, SAS can address the negative effect on the employment probability for a married woman and woman with children in Indonesia. Why does uh, SAS of Aceh have negative impacts? One possible explanation is because of Aceh uh, special autonomy and culture is Sharia based law, which results in a different working culture between a husband and a wife compared to other Indonesian provinces. Having children in an Aceh household means uh, the higher the responsibility for the wife to fulfill at the house. From the impact analysis on female employment by youth and non youth groups, and with the previous slide as well, it is found that Aceh SAS impact variety among female characteristics stands out the most. Based on this table, females in the youth and non youth groups all have statistically significant impacts, except for females in the non youth group in Aceh that have a negative one. However, SAS of Aceh has the largest impact here, which is for females in the youth group. So in Aceh, young females who usually are not married yet and do not have children have their employment probability increased. In contrast, older females who usually are already married and have children have their employment probability decreased. From the analysis overall on employment across subgroups, we can derive that DKI Jakarta's uh, SAS impact is the most effective and inclusive on increasing employment probability. Although in some categories, Aceh SAS has them higher, but it has several negative impacts on some subgroups. Last but not least, chapter five, conclusions. The study analyzes the impact of SAS in Papua, Aceh, and DKI Jakarta on employment probability. It explores the impact uh, across personal characteristics focusing on females. It uses a probit DID model with micro-level data of both cross-sections. There are five main findings. The first one, only Aceh and DKI Jakarta's SAS that increase general employment at 5% significance level. Second, all three regions' SAS increase female employment at 5% significance level, but not for male counterparts. Third, Papua and DKI Jakarta's SAS increase the employment probability for uh, married females and females with children, whereas Aceh SAS decreases it. Fourth, Aceh SAS has the most noticeable varying effect on female employment based on female characteristics. Last but not least, DKI Jakarta's SAS is the most effective and inclusive on increasing employment probability, both in subgroups of personal and female characteristics. There are some research limitations. There is a big part of missing values, especially in provinces outside Java Island. Besides, there are relevant variables that have no data found, such as um, gross regional domestic product that could be included in the model. Lastly, this paper only analyzes the impact of SAS on employment probability. It is important to notice that more employment does not mean that employed people do not have low paying jobs nor um, guaranteed improvement in life quality standards. For future research suggestions, it is suggested to examine the policy recommendations for increasing uh, the effectiveness in the SAS of Papua. Also, how the increase of employment probability from SAS affects welfare and economic indicators such as Human Development Index and Economic Growth. Thank you. That is the end of my bachelor's thesis presentation.